Olori Mariam allegedly breaks down in tears as she was searched thoroughly by the guards before entering the palace. My people wonder shall never end. <laughs> From what we are hearing allegedly these days, they say KBSC is damn serious. After the loss of that life, uh, pot of life, that the king, you know, they play again. As in, this is the time he have realized that hmm, if he did not do something, that one day they will wake up and say that KBSC is missing. <laughs> hey, because... Uh, whoever that took that pot or went to tamper with that pot does not mean well for KBC. And for the fact that he doesn't know who the person is, he needs to be very careful and watch his back. And from what we are hearing right now, they say this is what has been going on. Seriously. Anyways, before we proceed, you're welcome back to my channel. I greet you according to your time and the time you are seeing this video. We are still on the gist from the Palace of Oni of Fife. I want to remind you that these are all alleged information, okay? Always bear that in mind whenever you are in this channel. Please, if you have not subscribed to my channel, kindly subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up and tell me what you think about it after watching. Watch to the end, okay? Right now, they said most of these women have gone to that uh, or the supporters. As a matter of fact, they said Mariam passed uh, her first night in that place. Because there was so much serious tension in the palace that she need, she have to leave as usual. Because they say anytime she quarrels with KBS, she will leave the palace. You know, uh, that most of this time she will go to Ojaja Hotel. But they say because this time they have moved her stuff to that Orisa quarters, even without her consent. They say the king have ordered everybody to move things. Whether they will go and rearrange it there or not is none of his business. What matters is that he have provided a space for them to stay. And for the fact that palace needs to be cleansed, right now we heard that if a priest have insisted that the palace needs to be cleansed immediately to avoid further calamities, you know. And for that to happen, that the women must leave the palace. And after the cleansing, they are not returning back. Oh, they are not returning back. If they like, let them turn the whole palace to water. Let them invoke their water spirit. Let them invoke their pussycat spirit. Anything where we say they get, let them invoke it inside the palace, that the palace will be cleansed of all of those things. And they are not going to return back to it. Right now, they say they have moved some. Almost all of them have moved to the Orisha quarters. That is what we are here, you know. Don't forget that I do not live there with them. I don't know if it is true or not. This is one thing I must always remind you so that you will not say this girl have given me fake or this girl have given me real. I will always remind you that these are all alleged information because I do not live in the palace. So from what we heard, they said, uh, Marian was there in Orisa quarters when uh, the king sent message that all of them, the Olori, should come and meet him in the palace. But it was unfortunate that while they were coming, they said KBC asked the guard to search them. <laughs> this search, eh? It needs to happen, no, before they will carry something and come and drop inside the palace. Because the king no trust any one of them at all. Oh, trust no day again. And they say that Mariam cried bitterly. As in the kind of cry where we say she cried this time. They say ever since all of this drama started, she have never cried this way. And this is because she feels so humiliated and insulted that guards will be searching her, a wife to the king. Oh, after leaving a far wife, a far husband with three uh, before children, with after leaving a far hus her a far husband, where they respect her and they worship her as a god, you know. And the thing is that ever since Mariam got married to Kabir, it has been from one story to the other. There was never a time we heard that she is everything is very rosy for her in that palace. No, if you remember when she started this marriage, initially it was uh, like the bad news. Like they dragging her up and down, releasing her uh, voice notes, saying how she is this, she is that. From there, she can't enter with Naomi's own. You know? So if, if she is reasoning very well, she will just give up on this marriage because I didn't see her driving any satisfaction from it. And before now, she was made the Yeyolua because they said after Kabiesi married her, when Kwenomi left, she made her, he made her the Yeyolua. And you know what it means to be a Yeyolua. They, 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 they respect her, but it did not last. Reason is because her character could not make her 
last in that post. And we heard that KBAC also suspended her from BDA Yolua. I don't know how true it is, but that is what we keep hearing. And from there, they take away the staff from her. And it, since, since uh, uh, lately, I've not been seeing her using the staff. That simply means that maybe it is true that they have collected the staff from her. You know? So the only thing that KBAC did not take away from them is that they are royal duties. Of which I know that even if he take it, it is going to be very difficult for him. Because that's why they said that uh, the throne is not for one woman. But KBS is for one, one woman, which is Queen Naomi. But these people are mis misunderstanding it. They thought that uh, KBS is for all of them. No, KBS married them so that they will come and help to do the royal duties. And not to come and uh, 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 send Queen Naomi out of her matrimonial home. And she, her major problem, the main reason it looks as if the thing is too much on her is because she has devoted all her time to fight Queen Naomi, to ensure that Queen Naomi did not return back to the palace. Of course, we have heard allegedly that she said allegedly that uh, it, is, it, it will be over her guy body that Queen Naomi will return back to that palace. Now that she has finally uh, uh, signed the document, because we heard that the reason why the king called them they said they slept in the Orisha waters. Then the king called them the following day to come and sign a document. They don't know that it was signing the document. When they came, they were searched on the gate. And that was when they said the king told them that you must sign for me that you are going to stay and remain in that Orisha waters or you sign the divorce paper so that you go your separate way. If there's any traditional something that the king have to do for them to, uh, to be free completely, that he is ready to do it. And they said Marian was as in she was devastated she was humiliated she was in tears she was bittered you know and this is what happens when you fight for something that is not yours because kbsc is queen naomi's not mariam's <laughs> yes yeah, so no be your own afa is your husband go back to afa go and take care of your children let queen naomi return back to her home and take care of her home and the Prince Tadenika, of which even if now that she's not even there, she is taking care of them. But you, are you taking care of your children and your affair husband? That's the question. Anyways, I don't know what to say, but all I can say here is that uh, uh, Maria is learning the hard way because she is fighting a daughter of God, someone with the grace of God upon her, upon her head. She should know that when Naomi carry a whole lot of grace, and if she fights with Naomi, every element created by God will fight against her. Anyway, guys, tell me what you think about it on the comment section. And don't forget that they are alleged information. Always bear that in mind, okay? Thanks for watching. Subscribe and give my video a thumbs up. I love you. Bye.